Roseanne star Sarah Gilbert may have been born to be an actor, but that doesn't mean the road to stardom has been smooth. These are some of the struggles Gilbert has faced during her impressive Hollywood career. Sarah Gilbert caught the acting bug at a young age, as a kindergartner, to be exact. After watching her half-siblings Melissa and Jonathan Gilbert star on Little House on the Prairie and hearing stories of how her grandfather Harry Crane helped develop the Honeymooners, she knew that she wanted to follow in their footsteps. It also helped that even as a five-year-old playing Toto in a school production of The Wizard of Oz, she had comedic chops and a natural ability to make audiences laugh. As she worked to make a name for herself, Sarah still had to keep up with her education, much to her dismay. Knowing that she was destined to be in front of a camera was a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it made those hours in the classroom being a normal kid feel like an eternity. On the other, having an audition or shoot to look forward to got her through until the bell rang. She later told Entertainment Weekly, "'Honestly, I didn't really love being in regular school, so anything that put me in a more creative environment was a plus.'" Despite being catapulted into the spotlight at a young age, Sarah Gilbert has always struggled with fame, mostly due to being what she describes as incredibly shy. During her time at Warner Brothers Studios, where she portrayed medical student Jane Figler on NBC's ER from 2004 to 2007, she would hide from view whenever a tour group passed by. She later told EW, "...I just feel shy, like I don't want to take the experience away from anybody, but I always feel embarrassed for some reason." In 2010, Gilbert created The Talk, a project she had brainstormed to force herself to step out of her comfort zone. For Gilbert, it was a liberating experience to not only survive but thrive in the daytime talk show format, something she never dreamed she'd be capable of. As she said on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, "...when I went to sell it, I was so nervous, I felt like it was good for my spiritual growth, because I was so afraid to kind of speak in public. But I said to them when I was pitching it, I was like, you guys are probably gonna buy this, because I don't want to do it." Gilbert served as one of the hosts of the talk for nine seasons, an impressive feat for someone who isn't a fan of talking in front of crowds. When you spend 30 years knowing somebody, you can't manufacture that kind of chemistry. Johnny Galecki is no stranger to dating his on-screen love interests. From 2008 to 2010, he was in a relationship with his Big Bang Theory co-star Kaylee Cuoco, whose character in the show ends up with Galecki's. The two even followed a self-imposed rule on set to keep their romance hidden from the public. However, this wasn't the first time Galecki had fallen for someone on set. During the original Roseanne days, while portraying couple David Healy and Darlene Connor, the teenaged Galecki and Sarah Gilbert began seeing each other. But it wasn't exactly a fairy tale, she later said on the talk. I thought he was super cute and had a crush on him. We started dating and he would come over and we would like make out and then I would start to get depressed. That's because while dating Galecki, Gilbert began questioning her sexuality. Naturally, Galecki was confused and took her shift in mood to heart. When she eventually came out to him as gay, however, he was nothing but supportive. In 2010, when she expressed to him her plan to come out on the talk and asked permission to share details of their time together, this support never wavered. She recalled, "...he was like, of course, I love you and I think it's really important and I'm so proud of you. If you want, I will be there and I will hold your hand." After coming out to Johnny Galecki, Sarah Gilbert kept her sexuality a secret from the public for a number of years. Even when she began dating a woman for the first time, Gilbert shielded the relationship from the spotlight, fearing that it could negatively impact her work. Referring to Roseanne, she said on the talk, "...no one knew at the show for years, and Johnny held the secret the whole time. And I always felt so scared. If it came out, what could happen? Could I lose my career? Will I ever be able to play a straight role again?" Ultimately, Gilbert's fears were unfounded, as she was able to continue a successful career and keep playing straight characters. Still, this doesn't mean that Gilbert is always comfortable speaking publicly about her sexuality, and she admitted that some of her fears linger. She said on the talk, "...I'll try and act confident or I'll make jokes about it, but there's still a piece of me that goes, well, what is this costing me in my career?" Though they shared the screen for nearly a decade during the original run of Roseanne, Sarah Gilbert and Roseanne Barr had a heated falling out in 2018. That year, as the sitcom was enjoying a revival, Barr posted a racist tweet about Valerie Jarrett, the former advisor of Barack Obama. Gilbert quickly took to X, then Twitter, to condemn Barr's words, writing, "...Roseanne's recent comments about Valerie Jarrett and so much more are abhorrent." and do not reflect the beliefs of our cast and crew or anyone associated with our show, I am disappointed in her actions, to say the least." The revival was cancelled shortly after, with Gilbert opening up about the situation on the talk. She voiced her sadness for the loss of the series and continued to denounce Barr, much to the former leading lady's annoyance. In a 2023 interview with Megyn Kelly on The Megyn Kelly Show, Barr said she felt as though Gilbert stabbed her in the back by publicly speaking about the ordeal and not offering any support. Barr said she became so angered that she confronted Gilbert. I said, 
just like this. You better shut your blanking mouth about me. Other Roseanne stars, including John Goodman and Laurie Metcalf, have commented on the ordeal, but Gilbert has been the most vocal, and she has therefore taken the bulk of the heat from Barr. In 2002, the Roseanne cast lost one of its own when Glenn Quinn tragically died of an accidental heroin overdose. From 1990 until the end of the original series run in 1997, Quinn portrayed Mark Healy, the boyfriend and eventual husband of Becky Connor and older brother of David. The Dublin native, also known for his role of Doyle on the Buffy the Vampire Slayer spin-off Angel, was 32 years old at the time of his death. In 2018, when it came time to introduce the son of Darlene and David on the Roseanne revival, the character needed a name. After Sarah Gilbert reached out to Johnny Galecki for his opinion on the matter, the two instantly came up with the perfect choice. She said on the talk, I texted him, what do you think we should name our baby boy? And then I said, oh, maybe Mark, because Mark was played by Glenn Quinn, who was his brother on the show who passed away. That tribute to Quinn lives on through the Connors, which features Ames McNamara as Mark Connor Healy. He's an intellectual young man who embraces his individuality, a trait that McNamara thinks is important to showcase on TV. In 2019, after nine seasons, Sarah Gilbert parted ways with the talk. She made the announcement during an April episode, getting emotional as she broke the news to the studio audience and viewers at home. But I've decided that it's time for me to leave the show at the end of the season. Though she said she enjoyed serving as one of the hosts of her creation, the workload became too much, especially since she was also acting on and executive producing The Connors, keeping the door open for new projects and raising three children. She said, I'm just feeling like I don't know how I'm going to do it all. I was looking at the next six months and just thinking, there's not time. Still, Gilbert was able to leave the talk knowing that she achieved what she set out to do, step out of her comfort zone and become less anxious about public speaking. She told Deadline, It really pushed me to learn how to develop a public persona that felt authentic and matched who I really am. You also learn how to not say more than you're comfortable with, how to not overshare. Plus, it wasn't a final goodbye. In the years that followed her departure, Gilbert has returned to the show several times. Two years after they started dating, Linda Perry popped the big question to Sarah Gilbert while they shared a picnic at a Los Angeles park. The couple officially tied the knot in 2014 and shortly after welcomed Rhodes, their first child. Though Gilbert was finally able to experience marriage, something she admittedly feared might not happen for her, it didn't last as long as she might have hoped. In December 2019, Gilbert filed for separation from Perry, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce was finalized in October 2021, with the two sharing custody of their son. As they navigate co-parenting, Gilbert and Perry remain on good terms. Perry told People magazine, We're never not going to be a family. There doesn't feel like much of a separation because we're always together. It's really a beautiful relationship. Sarah Gilbert has been vocal about the negative impacts of a busy schedule, the main one being limited time to spend with her children. However, another vital aspect of her life was placed on the back burner as she took on more duties as an actress, producer, and talk show host her physical health. In 2017, she embarked on prevention's Spread the Health Challenge, tasking herself with fitting in 15 minutes of exercise per day. She said, I've let exercise slide since having my third child, and I wanted to put it back into my schedule. To regain both the physical and emotional benefits, I decided 15 minutes a day would be a manageable goal. I found it was easiest to squeeze in a daily walk or jog, though one day I was able to do an hour of yoga. Though she had to get a little crafty when it came to scheduling workout time, she made those 15 minutes of daily exercise a non-negotiable part of her life and reaped the benefits both physically and mentally. She said, My mood overall was better and I always like feeling fit. When I'm exercising, I feel happier and more positive. In March 2021, the talk host Sharon Osbourne came under fire for supporting her friend Piers Morgan after he made racist comments about Meghan Markle. Following a heated back and forth with co-host Cheryl Underwood, Osbourne was fired from the talk show. I should never have dismissed her feelings on national TV. Around the same time, former host Leah Remini came forward and claimed to reveal other alleged incidents involving Osborne, including a racial slur directed toward Julie Chen and a homophobic remark about Sarah Gilbert. Osborne's reps denied such allegations and released a statement against Remini that read in part, The only thing worse than a disgruntled former employee is a disgruntled former talk show host. Remini was only on the talk from 2010 to 2011, which means Osborne's alleged remarks took place during that time. 
Yet in the years that followed, Osborne and Gilbert appeared to be on great terms. In October 2020, Gilbert made a surprise appearance on the talk to surprise Osborne for her birthday. Gilbert said, You are just the most amazing, magnetic, tremendous person. I am beyond lucky that you are in my life. It's unlikely we'll ever know what really went down between Gilbert, Remini, and Osborne all those years ago, but Gilbert and Osborne certainly seem to have gotten over it. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.